Welcome to Robert's Reader Room and Reviews. Hope everyone had a great Friday. I did. I just want to say that this book I'm about to do my book review on has made me fall in love with a series again. And it's part of a series book too. Because it's been a while since I really actually sat down a read series because I just got so fed up with, you know, I feel like the author should least, if they're doing a series, six months to a year is enough time. And I hope I'm not pushing it by saying that, but I really feel it is, rather than every two, four, five, and so many other years to come to bring out the follow-up of a series, you know. Unless you have another job, I mean, most some of the authors I know of, just that's their job is writing, so I don't understand. Maybe they have a writer's block or whatnot, but that's why I stopped reading a series. But this right here, this series have actually made me fall in love with series again. And I'm talking about no other than Albert, The Uncaged Mind in the Black Series by John Boss. I just want to say this book starts off with Albert going back to Boston. He sees a young lady who he's infatuated with and he starts following her. And this on this particular day, she goes into a store and she comes out and these men tries to kidnap her and they do actually kidnap her. He tries to help and they kidnap him too. They went through a lot, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, lo and behold, my man Black and boys and company gets involved and come to the rescue and rescue uh, Anna and well, Anna and Albert and take them back to Independence Fork. And from there, Albert... And Anna form a relationship into lovers. And eventually they did get married. I, the Albert character in this book was sometimes kind of disturbing. He was a very dark character. But I loved him because even though he was dark, he meant well. Because he meant that he was going to avenge the men who did what they did to him and Anna abuse. He meant that he was going to take care of them. And all the other plantation owners, he was going to go back and just take care of them. And I love the idea of you bringing them back to Independence Fort and doing what took place. I just want to say also, it was a time where I had to put this book down, the part where Albert did what he did to Bernice and what happened to Joshua, I had to put the book down and walk away because I was like, mm. I wasn't prepared for that and I didn't see it coming. So I had to step away for a minute and get my mind right. The love mm, between Anna and Albert, that nasty talking that he did and he, what he, some of the things he was saying, I was like, oh, it, it made me so bashful. Before. And I was like, ooh, did they talk like that back in the day? Like that? Wow. You know. I like to say, I love this book in the whole series up until this point. It's because even though Albert Black is going still to these plantations trying to flee, free the slaves and bring them back down to Independence Fort, I love that they really wanted to educate them and and teach them how to read and write. And be successful and not just be someone free that don't know how to read or write. I really love that. You know, I feel like that, you know, in the world today, some people don't want you to know too much, as much as they do. But I love how they, that you instill this in that book about the education. Because back then, that was very worthy you needed to know, you know. I give this book a five stars. I love historical read. And I will say, I've read pretty much a lot of historical books. But this series really have gotten me. 
I really love this. I highly recommend this. I give it five stars. I, I got to do my um, Goodreads review and my Amazon. But I am going to do my review on both of those also, too. I look forward to reading book three, um, The Emancipation of James. I do believe it is. I'm going to step away for a minute because I have other reviews I got to do for other authors. So I do plan on reading that, but not just right away. I just want to say thank you, Miss Joan Voss, for a wonderful story and series thus far. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. It's Robert's Reader Room and Reviews. If you have not subscribed, please feel free to do so. Also, I'm on Instagram, Robert's Reader Room. And my Facebook page is Robert's Reading Room and Reviews. Until next time, I just want to say, please, give it a try. The Black Series by John Voss. This is book two. Book one is excellent. And book three, I have not got to, but I'm pretty sure it's just as good. And please, leave your reviews. Once you read it, have read. Until next time, keep an open mind and an open book.